morning, everyone. So, as always, I'm keeping it real. Got my day four hair. I am going to do a hair wash routine so I can show you exactly how I wash it, condition, moisturize, detangle, all of that stuff. Um, I feel awkward because I have a window literally right here. I'm obviously in my bathroom, but this right here is like the courtyard of my entire apartment complex and I'm pretty sure like anyone sitting out there can hear me. So that's fun, but whatever. Anyway, it's gonna be a little hair care video. Um, I wanted you guys to see like the actual state of my hair after I've been washed it for a couple of days and you will see the transformation. I'm wearing this super flattering shirt from when I was a swim coach, <laughs> um, but it's actually coming in handy right now so I don't have to get demonetized. That's an understatement if I'm like naked in the, the YouTube video. Anyway, let's get into it. Before I start, I thought it might be helpful for you to know all the supplies that you're gonna need, of course. So what I have is a shampoo and a conditioner. I'm using Mane and Tail shampoo and conditioner. I always use the regular Mane and Tail, it works great, but I found this one that says Deep Moisture Pro Vitamin B5. I don't know if that's like a special edition or if, if this is just the normal one, but now they put that on the bottle, I don't know. But this is what I use. I also really like the brands um, Garnier, Aussie, any olive oil products like Shea Moisture, even the, the ones you find at like the dollar store, like VO5, Suave, like those types of, those products honestly work really, really good on my hair. Um, the only times I've ever had problems with those was when my hair was chemically treated, either if it was bleached or if I had like a relaxer or something. That's the only time I ever needed to use like a certain type of shampoo and conditioner. So now that my hair is natural, I don't know. Main and tail has always done me justice, but like that dollar store shampoo is just, it's literally fine. So you can use whatever, but if you can't tell, my main objective with my hair is pretty much growth and moisture, which I'm sure is very common for curly haired people. <laughs> um, but yes, of course, the shampoo and conditioner. Conditioner is what really matters. And also, I have a hairbrush. I am going to order this one like shampoo brush that I found on Amazon that is, first of all, it's like smaller. It's like a handheld one, so there's no like handle. It's just like really nice and tiny. And you just brush the shampoo and it like stimulates hair growth. You do a little massage, bada bing, bada boom, you know? So I'm gonna get one of those, but I haven't gotten it yet, so I'm using just a classic hairbrush, but just something to detangle your hair. You can also use your fingers. I do that a lot too, like, you know, just de detangle like that because the brush, I'm not gonna lie, it's not the healthiest thing for your hair, but it is, for me, the most convenient, so that's what I do. So just something to detangle, a shampoo, a conditioner, I'm for real grabbing this out of my shower right now, so sorry for like the, all the turning, but told you guys I'm keeping it very real. And then something to dry off your hair. So a cotton t-shirt is really good for eliminating, eliminating and avoiding frizz in your hair. If you use just like a regular towel that you would use for your body, it can make your hair really frizzy. So, I like to use a t-shirt. They use, you know like those microfiber towels? You can for sure use something like that too. That that works the same as cotton, but the point is you want that like thin, soft, gentle fabric. So I just use a regular, regular t-shirt to save, save money, but you know. And I'll show you guys how I put that on after. I have like this really cute way that I like to wrap it around my head. And an oil. So, there are a few main components to like hair care and hair moisture for hair types like mine or like kinkier hair, just curly hair in general. 
and those those like components principles are something to clean it like an actual like soap detergent type detergent sounds so aggressive but like you know what i mean like a soap to wash your hair so a shampoo or something similar i don't really know i'm not in on that whole you know how there's people who are like oh i haven't shampooed in a year like i don't do that i just i'm gonna show you how like how i use my shampoo but i use it less often than conditioner but like i still wash my hair so i don't know um but there are ways so a shampoo a conditioner something to make your hair soft and detangle it and then an oil or a moisturizer or something to keep the moisture in those are like and i guess the number four would be like something to style it so like the four components of curly hair are like wash condition moisturize slash oil and then a styling product like a gel edge control something like that those are my like four horsemen of <laughs> beautiful hair um but yeah so the oil that i use when i come out of the shower is african shea butter i don't know why i said african i was straight up reading off the container it's just shea butter raw shea butter um there's so many products that have shea butter in it now so it's literally not hard to find at all but i always prefer one that's like natural because you know like they can put so many chemicals in these hair products and then just like add a little bit of like shea butter and then just be like oh it's like with shea it's not the same as using actual shea butter like i could eat this that's what i want for my hair if i can't consume it like if i can't digest it i don't want to put it in my hair basically that's how i feel when it comes to oils so shea butter is really 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 good um coconut oil is really good what else castor oil like anytime you can find a raw version of it use that and i just feel like if it says african raw on it like that's obviously what i need so that's what i go for so yeah some shea butter and that's about it let's for real get into it so first thing before you even get into the shower or you can do this under like hot water i've seen some people do that but i don't know you can be the judge but what i like to do is just massage my scalp literally for like three minutes and it stimulates blood flow hair growth yada 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 and it just feels really freaking good did you know that like we keep so much stress in like random places like the top of your head all over your head the back of your neck sometimes if like that where your um skull connects to your neck that area when there's tension there it can lead to a lot of headaches <sighs> your eyebrows i'm trying to think there's so many areas where like it's oh my god that feels so good <laughs> like just give yourself a little massage again you don't have to but it stimulates hair growth and some people say that like doing this in hot water i guess just stimulates it even more obviously because it like circulates your blood so that does make sense if it's like warm or like you know how some people do like that like hot oil treatments on their hair like things like that so your choice so first i'm pretty much just getting my hair wet it takes a while because my hair is pretty thick and like i said dry so just making sure it gets completely saturated with water and then i'm gonna put conditioner first so notice how i put it only on my ends i don't want to get it on my scalp or my roots because it clogs pores it leads to dandruff it it just it's just too much going on on the top you want to focus that on the actual strands of hair and your length Now I'm going in with shampoo, so watch the difference between how I apply this. With this one, I'm going on my scalp on the roots, and I'm massaging like I showed you earlier. I want to stimulate that hair growth, the blood flow, everything. Going in with now even more conditioner. Gotta have it. This is what does the detangling process, so now I'm brushing through my hair and 
notice how also I'm doing it under the flow of the water. Those little hairs, <laughs> those hairs are gonna fall out. Make sure they don't clog your drain. And man, yeah, it's exhausting. Oh my lord. So keep detangling, but trust the process. A little more conditioner because I like to put it in at the end and leave some in my hair. You'll see why. First, I'm going to grab my towel because holy shit, I'm soaked. Just got the excess moisture off. Now, while my hair is still wet, I'm going to take my oil. This is key. Your hair has to be wet when you put the oil in, okay? And notice... Um, I didn't wash all of my conditioner out either. I like to leave a little bit if I know I'm gonna wear my hair curly. Okay, so this comes as a solid. I'm just gonna take a nice amount. You want a lot, okay? What this is doing is sealing in the moisture that's currently in my hair. So my hair is wet. It could either air dry and all this is gonna evaporate and I'm gonna lose that moisture or Ooh, hair still dripping, so I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna keep the moisture in my hair by locking it with the oil. Focus it on the ends, cause that's where I tend to be dry. Okay, so all of that amount you just saw went on to one half of my hair. I'm gonna grab another. I'm telling you, you want a lot. When you think you have too much, grab a little more. And I just, Massage it in with my fingers. I'm telling you, like it feels greasy right now, but when it dries, you're gonna be like, damn, it's gonna look nice, shiny, healthy, moisturized. Curls will be popping tin. I'm telling you, look, look, at, look at this. Hold on, you see? This has like an inch of length added because of that oil, no cap. I know you see that, I know you see it. Okay. And then the other side. I'm just gonna go ahead and like go in with the whole shebang on this side of my hair cause we already know how much, well I know how much oil I need cause I have been doing this, but I wanted to show y'all for the first time since you may not have gotten the hang of it yet, that's okay. But yeah, literally easy peasy. Saturate it with that oil. Now, some people are afraid to do this because you may be prone to oily hair. If you have curls like me, you probably are not. I feel like that's more of a straight hair, wavy hair sort of thing, but you never know. Obviously everyone's different. So if you're an oily hair person, who also has curls, I don't know, quite frankly, because I just can't relate to that. So <laughs> if you have dry hair, you're in the right place. Cause I would tell some of my friends, like back in the day, I would tell my friends who are like white or like Indian, um, like just people who have like straight hair texture, whether it's thin hair, thick hair, whatever. If their hair was straight and I would tell them like, I need to put oil in my hair they would be like oh my god what like that's too much oil it's never enough it's literally never enough <laughs> this is this is the thing like for curly haired people we need to put the the oil and the moisture into our hair there's people who say like um shampoo your hair every every single day because your hair is like super oily or it's like it go you know, for me, I shampoo my hair once a week because I need the moisture. People will be like, oh my God, your hair is not gonna like get oily. It's not gonna start like stinking. Like, no, dude, my hair is dry. It's dry. So if you need moisture in your hair, I would say try to shampoo less and condition more. If your hair is too oily, I would say vice versa. Like maybe, shampoo it like every day or ev maybe every other day i feel like every day is excessive regardless honestly every day every single day to shampoo your hair just doesn't seem right but that's just me i don't know <laughs> so anyway we're gonna take our shirt again you're gonna flip your head this is the fun part for me 
Okay, you open the collar, put your head down inside, inside the collar. So now basically you're wearing it like a hat. Then twist, flip, and stick the excess underneath. That's it. And then I'm just gonna let my hair sit like this until it's like still damp, but not like soaking like it is right now. I mean, I wring it out, like don't let it soak because then you could get like mildew in your hair and stuff. It's just like, it's not even worth it. But I'm gonna let it get a little bit drier in here and then I'm gonna take this off and I'm gonna let my hair air dry the rest of the way. Or maybe sometimes when it's still a little bit wet, I'll like slick it back and it's just more like controlled that way. But it depends on the style you're doing. I'm not gonna style it or anything, like literally just a wash and go. Um, matter of fact, like, I'm gonna just show you guys how it looks right now. Because you've seen, if you watch my other videos, I literally wear this all the time, like all the time. And I'll just add a little, like one product for styling or whatever. I can do a styling video another day, but literally this is it and it's just gonna get a little bit bigger and maybe we'll get like this big um but that's it like hold on i want you to really get into the texture remember how it looked before like those are some healthy curls no kizzy um anyway that's the video <laughs> that's the tutorial that's the routine i hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to subscribe like follow me on all my social medias check out my amazon storefront leave a comment if you have any questions requests um if you enjoyed you know you already know the vibes okay see you guys have a beautiful rest of your day